Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to transform a pant again. Yes, I'm going to transform this pant into something you have already seen on the intro. So let me tell you a thing guys, I have already transformed a pant into a bodycon dress and let me tell you this was one of my biggest hit because it got a lot of appreciation and also got into a lot of controversies because a pant being transformed into a bodycon dress was quite hard to believe for many people. The only fact that I could transform this pant into a bodycon dress was the quality of the fabric. The pant fabric had a really nice stretch which made me easier to transform it into into a dress which wrapped my body so again I have chosen pants for similar transformation only to show you guys how fabric choice can create difference in whole process of making so if you want to see how this transformation is done then stay tuned to the end of this video so you all know the drill first I'm gonna seam rip open the whole pants and just dismantle it I'm going to seam rip open all the sides leaving the sides of the legs as it is and fold it from the crotch and then I'm going to measure from the waist up to the knee length and mark it and cut it. Then I'm going to take measurement from waist to hips for the center back and straighten the crotch down up to the bottom. The reason I did this because I want a little bit of curve in my hips and for the front I'm going to just straighten the crotch from the waistline. After that I took measurement of waist and hips by stretching it and saw that the fabric is not quite stretchable than the pant we did before so I have to add fabric at the front part. For that I'm gonna take the piece that I cut out before from the knee length and I'm gonna add it to the front part like this. As the fabric is a stretch material I'm gonna give it a zigzag stitch to join the part. Now I'm gonna attach this piece to the front part like this. So guys you see how fabric stretch can create a lot of difference and I've got enough room to fit my body now. While join the back I'm gonna leave 7 inches from the waistline for the zipper and leave 5 inches from the bottom and join the rest of the part. This is how the skirt looks on my body and I'm already loving it. Now I'm gonna take another pant and cut out one leg part measuring 22 inches from the bottom as sleeve of the dress. Then I took the rest of the pant piece and folded it from the crotch making the crotch part the center front and center back part of the bodies. So I'm gonna dress a simple bodice piece first and cut it like this. And for the measurement, it's just gonna fit my body because the fabric stretches two to three times than the original measurement of the pants, so it's just gonna fit me. Seeing the print and shine of the fabric, I really wanted to give it a bold look, so I went for a one shoulder bodies. So I'm gonna keep this zipper line part as it is and use it for the center back to join the zipper. Then I turned the fabric inside out and decided to join the bodice with the skirt. Then I saw the skirt was 2 to 3 inches larger than the bodice. So I decided to add few darts at the back. Few means two darts at the back. So I folded the skirt from the center front and created a dart of 1 inch at each side measuring 3.5 inches far from the center front. Going with the flow of the cut of the fabric, I decided to give this kind of neckline for the back. Aligning everything properly, especially the center back zipper line, I joined the bodies to the skirt by giving it a zigzag stitch. Then I took a black invisible zipper and added it to the center back of the dress. I 
I gave the sleeves shape of armhole and then added it to the bodies. After adding the sleeves, I gave shape to the back neckline. Then for the facing, I already had stretchy belt, so I dismantled the belt, ironed it and used it for the facing like this. After creating the facing, I added it to the neckline and while joining, you can just give it a stretch stitch because you don't want your neckline to stretch while wearing. After attaching the facing, give it a top stitch and just join it at the side seams and the shoulder seams so that it does not move. And lastly, I balanced out the bottom hemline and interlocked it and gave blind stitch to the slit and I'm just done with the dress. You guys must be wondering what I did with the leftover leg pieces. I actually tried to create a socks boots or boot socks but I failed so I'm just gonna try it later and show it up to you because failing is the process of learning so yeah. So here is the final transformation. I'm editing the video so uh, I have a news uh, new secure one the heavy from now on I'll be choosing a uh, winner from the giveaway who will be featured on my YouTube videos will be featured on very fashion videos and will get a chance to refashion their dresses with me for free so uh, I am thinking of doing this kind of feature giveaway every once in a month if not possible in every two months so uh, this is the announcement and we have a winner for this time when it's any giveaway run through Instagram and K rules or and I have my winner for now. So she is Muna Ghatras. Congratulations Muna. So we'll be seeing each other and you'll be seeing videos of her and being featured in my fashion videos so guys uh, this is something new i'm gonna do and i am really excited to do this so i'll get to meet new people i'll get to meet my new subscribers all of you guys 
some of you guys and we'll get a chance to refashion your dresses so i'm really excited for that so this is a very new chapter of refashion for me and for you guys as well so isko title se moile i don't know what i'm going to be keeping the title so if you have any ideas uh, about the title of this new refashion then you can comment it below my is in a refashion with my subscribers yaki banera and also so if you have any new idea please comment it down below and subscribe to my channel and be updated on my instagram as well because i'll be running many giveaways from there so you might get lucky next time as muna has gotten lucky this time so yeah i'll be signing off bye let me finish this video bye